It's now my pleasure to invite the Agricultural University of Athens. We have uh, co-presenters, if I understand correctly, uh, Professor Yorgos Papadakis, the Vice Rector, and Professor Nikolaos D'Alesios. They have the floor. Arakalopoli. <laughs> Um, good morning. My name is George Papadakis. I'm the vice rector or vice president, let me say, of our university, the Agricultural University of Athens. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, dear colleagues, it's a great pleasure to participate in this forum and present our universities and seek for collaboration opportunities with uh, Canadian universities. Um, our university is a small university. As you see here, we have six departments. My colleague, Professor Dalezios, may say more on this. I would like to stress on uh, matters and issues of research. <coughs> so what we do and what we teach is what you see there is food and feed production, food processing technology, biotechnology, biomaterials and energy, natural resources and environment, bioengineering for life and economics and rural development. These are the field of, field of teaching and research. We have a beautiful campus. We are actually the third oldest university of Greece. 1920 is the establishment date. We are just right in the center of Athens, just two kilometers from Keramikos, Agora the ancient Agora of Athens. Um, you see some views of our campus. We have, the campus is actually uh, 25, about 25 hectares. We have 60 buildings, 10 large amphitheaters, 20, 26 smaller teaching rooms, 42 laboratories. The library, the agricultural museums, we have about 200 faculty staff and in addition to that, um, full-time researchers of about 220 that are paid not by the state but our, from our research funding and we're about to have in a few years about 5,000 students because uh, since this year we have an increase in the enro enrollment of undergraduate students. We have the council, the new law, uh, I'm not going to spend more time on this, I just want to stress on research. Uh, as you know, the Greek universities have the research committees that uh, administer the funding for research, but also for education, training, and technological development. And uh, what I would like to mention and to stress is the fields of collaboration with the Canadian universities. That is, of course, education, lifelong training, research, but particularly this is our need, I would say, and uh, I seek uh, knowledge of transfer of knowledge from the Canadian universities, if they have it, is how to exploit commercial exploitation of research results. This is our first priority right, right, right now, and I just want to say that we are very good in writing papers, very good in producing research results, where the Greek universities are not good in exploitation of these results. So, in our university, first priority is this one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, dear Ambassador, uh, dear colleagues, oh, okay, this is my presentation. There we go. <coughs> This is a joint presentation. Uh, although we are a small university, we would like to have a strong presence here. Uh, my name is Nicholas Dalesius, and I'm a member of the Council of the Agricultural University uh, of Athens. Uh, at first, I would I'm very pleased with this uh, forum, and I would like to congratulate uh, the organizers, the Canadian Embassy. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I would like to express uh, my satisfaction uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, this initiative comes at a time where Greece uh, faces a very serious uh, crisis and uh, as we all know, education uh, certainly might be part of the solution of the crisis. Uh, second, uh, we also know that uh, Canada uh, has a well-established uh, uh, educational and academic system. 
And uh, finally, there is also personal satisfaction. Uh, since I'm uh, also a graduate from Canadian universities, I have received my PhD from Civil Engineer University of Waterloo, and I was teaching at the Department of Civil Engineering at the University of Ottawa before returning to Greece. Uh, and I'm looking forward to this uh, potential uh, collaboration, uh, and uh, I hope this will go uh, positively. Uh, now, uh, the structure of the the current structure of the agricultural university has two faculties with three departments each, uh, already mentioned by my colleague, uh, Professor Papadakis. Uh, and uh, I would like to stay a little bit on the uh, postgraduate uh, programs, master programs and PhD programs. They are close to 200 uh, graduate students right now at the Agriculture University. And there are 14, there is one missing uh, master and PhD programs in, in several fields, geoinformatics, uh, geology and atmospheric environment, natural uh, uh, process, a very popular one on agribusiness, uh, uh, traditional uh, programs in plant science, livestock production systems, aquatic uh, organisms, and uh, biotechnology and uh, food uh, science and technology, uh, vineyard and uh, uh, enology, uh, integrated management, milk production and dairy products, and natural resources and the agriculture engineer with uh, specialization in uh, renewable energy sources, uh, irrigation management and soil science. Uh, some future goals that we have set up uh, recently is uh, we want to further improve the level of uh, provided education, uh, to intensify practical training uh, within Greece and uh, internationally, uh, try to identify and promote uh, centers of, ze of excellence, if we may call them, within our university. And of course, increase uh, research funding and publication records, open up to academic cooperation. This is why we are here. And uh, also open up to society through continuing education and searching of course for international cooperation in research and uh, postgraduate education. Uh, Thank you very much for your attention.